In this video, you're gonna learn how to fix noisy audio recordings. Got a few examples of some noisy recordings and we're gonna try and reduce that noise as much as possible. First, we're gonna take a look at using the denoise tool in Audacity. Then I'm gonna show you how to do it in Isotope RX. And finally, I'm gonna show you how to, how to reduce noise in any DAW, even if you don't have a denoise tool. So first up, Audacity. So let's, let's have a listen to the audio first. Okay, I think for me, the key of that question is the modern day bit. And yeah. I do think it has. So this is from a podcast, really noisy recording. We've got a nice section of noise there that we can use to build up a noise profile so that the noise denoise tool knows what the noise sounds like so it can remove it. But even if you don't have that, um, I'll show you how you can reduce it. So first, you just want to use your selector tool to grab a chunk of that noise, then go to effect and noise reduction. And this is what I was talking about. So step one, select a few seconds of noise so audio knows what to filter out and click get noise profile. Then we want to highlight the entire thing. And we've got sensitivity. That's what it's going to consider to be noise the higher it is. Um, how much we're going to reduce it by, so 18 decibels. And then frequency smoothing, um, we can leave that as it is for now. So let's hit OK on that. You can see that the level in general has dropped a little bit. Okay, I think for me, the key of that question is the modern day bit, and yeah. I do think it has changed. It sounds much cleaner there. Let's listen to the difference. Of that question is the modern day bit. And yeah. I, of that question is the modern day bit. So it's really effective. It does reduce the quality of the audio slightly because it has to pick out those frequencies and reduce them across the whole thing, but it still makes for a more, a more professional a more professional result. But you, even if you only have these tiny little bits, if we didn't have that big chunk at the beginning, you can find your noise profile just here between words. Um, the more you have, the more accurate it's going to be, but it will still work even just with these little sections here if you zoom in. Now we're going to take a look at how to reduce noise in Isotope RX. This is a paid package of plugins. Um, so if you do this professionally, you might want to pick this up. Uh, there are a couple of different options for reducing noise. We've got the voice denoise and the spectral denoise. I find the spectral denoise is generally more accurate if you have a noise profile you can build up, which we do. So let's try that first. We're going to be learning. That's the equivalent of get noise profile. Let's turn up to, to the max quality and then click learn. And then it's found the no what the noise looks like based on what we've selected. So again, if we select the whole thing, you can choose how much you want to reduce it by. Normally I find the default is a little bit low, especially for something really noisy like this. So let's bring it up to 15, let's say 16 dB and render and have a listen. That question is the modern day bit. And yeah. I do think it has changed. Okay, I think for me, the key of that question. So similar result, really. I find that it's a little bit more effective than the free audacity option. And then you have the voice denoise as well, which uh, I find affects the quality of the audio more. It doesn't sound as, as great when it comes out of it, but it's it works a little bit better when you don't have a noise profile. So if we don't bother getting a noise profile and just use adaptive mode, which is where it's kind of figuring out itself um, what the noise should, what the noise sounds like, and then just render. Okay, I think for me the key of that question is the modern day bit, and yeah. I do think it. Ha so it's, we've still gotten rid of that noise, um, but it does cut off a little bit that top end, make it sound a little bit lower quality. And then finally, let's take a look in Pro Tools. Now, if you have another door, uh, you don't have access to any any denoise specific tools. Um, there are a couple of other things we can do. It's not going to be as effective, but it, it should still help. So let's have a listen to what we've got here first. Thanks for joining me. How are you? Very good. How are you? So is the first one noisy? Yes. Is the second one noisy? Yeah. So they're both, both got a bit of noise. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to get them through a mix bus. So anything we do on this mix bus is going to affect both tracks and we're going to bring up a noise gate. I'm going to use the, the channel strip because it has an EQ in as well, which we're going to be using too. So what a noise gate does is reduce the level of the signal when it goes below a certain threshold. 
So if we reduce the threshold right down so it only affects that noise, let's solo that and have a listen on its own. Okay, we need to bring it up a bit so it's catching that. There we go. Then bring the ratio right down so it's chopping it off. Maybe not completely because it's going to chop off the quiet vocals as well. We're going to soften that knee as well so that it's not so harsh when it goes below the threshold. And now let's listen. Very good. How are you? So it's brought the noise right down and it hasn't affected the vocals. Another thing you can do is while you're doing your edit, you can simply just, just chop these bits out. Very good. How are you? And obviously you can still hear a little bit of the noise over the vocals because they're not affecting that. And then one other thing we can do is use EQ. So if your noise has a noise profile is particularly bright or um, particularly has a lot of low frequencies, we can use EQ to cut those out or reduce them. Let's have a listen to this. And find where that noise is. So we can just drop drop a little bit of that up there, around 6, 7K. Have a listen now. Very good. How are you? So it's not as harsh the noise. Obviously, it's going to be affecting the vocals as well. It's not the ideal solution. But if you don't have access to a denoise tool, then using uh, gate and noise gate and EQ can help make it sound more professional or simply just editing out the bits of noise if you can. So whatever software you have access to, there is a way of reducing the noise, making your audio sound a little bit more professional. I'm gonna be putting up more of these audio fixing tricks in the coming weeks, so subscribe so you don't miss them or check out below this video for the full playlist once they're already out. And let me know in the comments section below what method will you be using to reduce noise in your audio recordings. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.